Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today I want to do a WTF It's very similar to what uh, Total Biscuit used to do, Rip Total Biscuit uh, So here we go, uh, what the um, mm, Fudge Knuckle is um, <laughs> Is this game, is uh, Infinite uh, Is it Infinite Frontiers or Infinite something or other? It's Anyway, you, links are being down the down below. This is clearly a mobile game port uh, to a PC client, very similar to what they've done with um, Mech Arena and um, Raid Shadow Legends, things of that nature. Um, because there's still, it still says in, on a lot of the, the text tap. Um, well, you don't tap in a PC game, unless obviously you're playing it on a tablet and whatnot, in which case it's still just an Android port. But well, that's exactly what this is. This is an Android port. And with it being an Android port, there's also the issues of converting from the Android operating system to the Windows operating system, even through a third-party um, emulator, which is what this game is technically running on. It's running on a very, very, very bare-bones, stripped-down Nox Android emulator or BlueStack Android emulator. I don't think it's BlueStack because... Uh, BlueStack does not like AMD processors that much. It loves Intel processors, but it hates AMD for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but uh, Nox loves uh, AMD processors, but hates Intel. So this tells me it's most likely most likely Nox, um, not BlueStacks. And so, uh, as you can see, I have been playing now for a, a, a few days, two or three days, just to get the bare bone, to, to get the idea of what the game is all about. And, well... As you can see, I mean, you click on this and it will still say tap for this, tap for that, you know, and then everything's behind a timed paywall. Um, and what I mean by that is just like most mobile, quote unquote, strategy games, which is the most horrible deck and title you can call your games, is they put everything behind a physical time limit wall. Um, of course, your regular time zone is listed up here, um, but it takes like five minutes for your ship to go even this short distance um, to do combat. I mean, right now I've got uh, some ships here in combat. We can actually view the combat. Now, unfortunately, I was thinking, okay, maybe I, I might be able to get control of my ships, tell them what, what orders to do, maybe set up attack formations, things of that, that nature. No, no, you don't. Everything is literally 100% automated from the ships that they target all the way to the skills that they use, which is absolute dog shit I might add um, I've got three core I've got four corvettes a whole bunch of frigates and 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 whatnot and why can I not tell my capital ships to target their capital ships and my frigates or vice versa to my frigates to target their capital ships while my capital ships mop up their frigates that would make a lot more sense you know tactically wise I, yet this game is like no we're just going to simplify this yet you're going to overly complicate absolutely everything else which makes no sense none whatsoever it's like the, the, the developer of this game is like well it works on android or it works on 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 ios and whatnot so let's just port it to pc no that's not just 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 no no i mean for crying out loud you're competing against games like EVE Online, okay? Even the EVE uh, Echoes m m mobile game, which I, I do play, is vastly superior to this. Vastly. And it's clear you're using Unity assets. And I, I know this is built with Unity because I'm a Unity builder. I build with Unity. I code with Unity. I can literally tell you that this is Unity without even having to look um and i honestly don't even think half these ships are custom designed by you i think you've literally just gone to the unit ass asset store contacted a, a maker and said look i need this this and this here's here's three hundred dollars do it for me um i mean for crying out loud if your ship's taking this much of a pounding okay and you know you're outgunned why are they not fleeing why are they not saying sod this let's just get out of here they're not. They're, they're standing their ground like, like they don't care, like they've got nothing to lose. They're pirates. If they're pirates, 
they're going to get the hell out of there. Pirates don't look for an even match. Pirates want to attack people where they've got the advantage. When they're disadvantaged, they flee. This is why they're called pirates. You know, but again, it's like whoever decided to do this port over it is an absolute muppet. Now, again, the menu system is asked backwards. Escape key doesn't do anything. Um, which, again, if this is supposed to be designed for a PC, why can I not rotate the map? Again, you can clearly tell that this is specifically designed just for, for a, 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 a really piss poor port of a, uh, a Android game or, or an iOS game. Uh, you got the stereotypical premium currencies here, like click to buy, tap to buy, tap to buy. But here's the problem. You go tap to buy. Okay. I'm trying to buy. Nothing happens. There you go. Nothing happens. I cannot, for the life of me, seem to purchase any premium items for this game. So, yes, this is a piss poor port. When your own physical freaking cash shop does not work in your own game that you ported. This wasn't a third party port. This was ported by the game developer themselves. And you, it, it's broken. It is 100% broken. Ad blockers do not affect video games. I'm sorry, but they don't. Because if that's the case, then my blue stack should never show many ads. But my blue stacks emulator shows me ads all the fucking time. Yes, I do have an ad blocker on my web browser. So, you know, but the point is, I cannot purchase anything. I can't even go into the store, okay? So, case in point, and this is another thing. They always want you to go to this little page here and join this group, which I can't do. I can click to apply to join. I get this little pop-up. I click yes, I understand, blah, 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 blah. They want my email. Then they send me a verification code. Why? So you can harvest my data and sell it? No, thank you. For a minuscule gain? No, thank you. Not interested. Okay. Now, I saw this little little thing right here. I was like, ooh, that's a nice looking ship. It's very um, Starship Troopers in its uh, uh, look. So I thought to myself, that, actually, that does look a lot like a Starship Troopers ship. You know, it, it, the only difference is that on a Starship Troopers ship, the engines would be at the back and sticking out very similar to an X-Wing. But other than that, that looks like a cross between Battlestar Galactica and um, Starship Troopers. Okay, so you think, okay, this isn't a bad looking little ship. B, 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 A. Okay, cool, fair enough, fair enough. 4,000 attack. Very good ship, I'll take it. For 99p, I'll take it. Click. Nothing. So... I can't even buy the things that you're trying to give away because your cash shop is down. Because your the ability for players to purchase stuff is down. Now, I don't know what, and that's nothing. They want you to join their financial plan, which is you want me to give you 600 of these credits that you get very, these Proxima coins that you get very sparingly for doing combat and a few other things and whatnot. You want me to give you 600 and you'll give me 1500 in, 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 in return. That makes no sense, but okay. Um, same as the uh, tech files, okay. I can't purchase these either, which means I can't get these ships. Because I'll click on purchase, even when I do have the money. Okay, in case in point, I've got the money here. Okay, so yeah, it gave me that one. Okay, so that tells me it's an internal server thing. That's not, that's not networked, okay. So these boxes, that tells me these are client side. Okay, these ones are client side. But the special ones that you buy, okay, like these ones, I'm going to buy this one, okay, again, that tells me this is client side, okay, that tells me it is client side, but the cash shop ones are not, the cash shop ones, as you saw, clearly want me to, um, clearly want me to have to connect to their servers. So either their server is physically... Oh, I've got a new ship. Nice. Either they're physically telling me... Oh, lovely. Previous node... No, order research. Research. Best research. Thank you. And that's another thing. To unlock ships, 
it is well a raw pain in the ass to be honest with you so I'm not even sure where I want to, to, to tap or to do this or to, missile frigate okay so it's four points for a missile frigate let's t take a look at it cross integrated internal Polaris projector launching system integrated cannon system armor systems okay, okay again you've got all this beautiful stuff here and then it's all limited because if I go to the ship commands all it's got is focus fire all your ships ever start off with is focus fire it makes no sense crap be right back hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today I want to do a WTF it's very similar to what uh, Total Biscuit used to do Rip Total Biscuit uh, so here we go uh, what the um, <clears throat> fudge knuckle is um, <laughs> is this game is uh, infinite uh, is it infinite frontiers or infinite something or other it's anyway you, links are being down down below this is clearly a mobile game port uh, to a PC client very similar to what they've done with um, mech arena and um, raid shadow legends things of that nature um, because there's still it still says an on a lot of the, the text tap um, well you don't tap in a PC game unless obviously you're playing it on a tablet and whatnot in which case it's still just an Android port but that's exactly what this is this is an Android port and with it being an Android port there's also the issues of converting from the Android operating system to the Windows operating system even through a third-party um, emulator which is what this game is technically running on it's running on a very 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 bare bones stripped down Nox Android emulator or Bluestack Android emulator I don't think it's Bluestack because uh, Bluestack does not like AMD processors that much it loves Intel processors but it hates AMD for some reason I don't know why um, but uh, Nox loves uh, AMD processors but hates Intel so this tells me it's most likely most likely Nox um, not blue stacks and so uh, as you can see I have been playing now for a, a, a few days two or three days just to get the bare bone to, to get the idea of what the game is all about and well as you can see I mean you click on this and it will still say tap for this tap for that you know and then everything's behind a timed paywall um, and what I mean by that is just like most mobile quote-unquote strategy games which is the most horrible second title you can call your games is they put everything behind a physical time limit wall um, of course your regular time zone is listed up here um, but it takes like five minutes for your ship to go even this short distance um, to do combat I mean right now I've got uh, some ships here in combat we can actually view the combat now unfortunately I was thinking okay maybe I, I might be able to get control of my ships tell them what what orders to do maybe set up attack formations things of that that nature no no you don't everything is literally a hundred percent automated from the ships that they target all the way to the skills that they use which is absolute dog shit i might add um i've got three core i've got four corvettes a whole bunch of frigates and 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 whatnot and why can i not tell my capital ships to target their capital ships and my frigates or vice versa to my frigates to target their capital ships or my capital ships mop up their frigates that would make a lot more sense you know tactically wise uh, yet this game is like no we're just going to simplify this yet you're going to overly complicate absolutely everything else which makes no sense none whatsoever it's like they're the developer of this game is like well it works on android or it works on 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 ios and whatnot so let's just port it to pc no that's not just 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 no no i mean for crying out loud you're competing against games like eve online okay even the eve uh, echoes mo mobile game which i i do play is vastly superior to this vastly and it's clear you're using unity assets and I, I know this is 
built with Unity because I'm a Unity builder. I build with Unity. I code with Unity. I can literally tell you that this is Unity without even having to look. Um, and I honestly don't even think half these ships are custom designed by you. I think you've literally just gone to the Unit as Asset Store, contacted a, a maker and said, look, I need this, this, and this. Here's, here's $300. Do it for me. Um... I mean, for crying out loud, if your ship's taking this much of a pounding, okay, and you know you're outgunned, why are they not fleeing? Why are they not saying, sod this, let's just get out of here? They're not. They're, they're standing their ground like, like they don't care, like they've got nothing to lose. They're pirates. If they're pirates, they're going to get the hell out of there. Pirates don't look for an even match. Pirates want to attack people where they've got the advantage. When they're disadvantaged, they flee. This is why they're called pirates you know but again it's like whoever decided to do this port over it is an absolute muppet now again the menu system is asked backwards escape key doesn't do anything um which again if this is supposed to be designed for a pc why can i not rotate the map again you can clearly tell that this is specifically designed just for for a a a, a really piss poor port of a uh, uh, Android game or, or an iOS game uh, you got the stereotypical premium currencies here like click to buy tap to buy tap to buy but here's the problem you go tap to buy okay I'm trying to buy nothing happens there you go nothing happens I cannot for the life of me seem to purchase any premium items for this game so yes this is a piss poor port when your own physical freaking cash shop does not work in your own game that you ported this wasn't a third party port this was ported by the game developer themselves and you it, it's broken it is a hundred percent broken ad blockers do not affect video games i'm sorry but they don't because if that's the case, then my blue stack should never show many ads, but my blue stack emulator shows me ads all the fucking time. Yes, I do have an ad blocker on my web browser. So, you know, but point is, I cannot purchase anything. I can't even go into the store, okay? So, case in point, and this is another thing, they always want you to go to this little page here, and join this group which i can't do i can click to apply to join i get this little pop-up i click yes and and stand blah 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 they want my email then they send me a verification code why so you can harvest my data and sell it no thank you for a minuscule gain no thank you not interested okay now i saw this little little thing right here i was like oh that's a nice looking ship it's very um starship troopers in its uh, uh, look, some sort of stuff. That actually, that does look a lot like a Starship Trooper ship. You know, it, it, the only difference is that on a Starship Trooper ship, the engines would be at the back and sticking out very similar to an X-wing. But other than that, that looks like a cross between Battlestar Galactica and um, Starship Troopers. Okay, so you think, okay, this isn't a bad looking little ship. B B B B B B B A. Okay, cool, fair enough, fair enough. Four thousand attack. Very good ship. I'll take it for ninety nine p. I'll take it. Click. Nothing. So, I can't even buy the things that you're trying to give away because your cash shop is down. Because your the ability for players to purchase stuff is down. Now, I don't know what... And that's nothing. They want you to join their financial plan, which is you want me to give you... 600 of these credits that you get very these proxima coins that you get very sparingly for doing combat and a few other things and whatnot you want me to give you 600 and you'll give me 1500 in in, in, in return that makes no sense but okay um same as the uh, tech files okay i can't purchase these either which means i can't get these ships because i'll click on purchase even when i do have the money okay in case in point i've got the money here okay so yeah it gave me that one Okay, so that tells me it's an internal server thing. That's not that's not networked. Okay, so these boxes that tells me these are client side. Okay, these ones are client side. But the special ones that you buy, okay, like these ones. I'm going to buy this one. 
Okay, again, that tells me this is client side. Okay, that tells me it is client side. But the cash shop ones are not. The cash shop ones, as you saw, clearly want me to um, clearly want me to have the connect to their servers. So either their server is physically oh I've got a new ship. Nice. Either they're physically telling me or oh, lovely previous node oh, order research. Research. Best research, thank you. And that's another thing. To unlock ships is well, a royal pain in the ass, to be honest with you. So, I'm not even sure where I want to, to, to tap or to do this. Or to, missile frigate. Okay. So, it's four points for a missile frigate. Let's t take a look at it. Cross integrated internal Polaris projectile launching system, integrated cannon system, armor systems. Okay, okay. Again, you've got all this beautiful stuff here and then it's all limited because if i go to the ship commands all it's got is focus fire all your ships ever start off with is focus fire it makes no sense crap be right back guys sorry about that that was uh, a <laughs> a roommate calling on me to check check on something but point is okay so we've got this new missile ship all right so let's build a few shall we I can only build four because I'm at, I'm at uh, uh, max capacity. Okay, so it's going to take 50 something minutes, or you can speed it up with your little speed up thingies that you get every so four hours or so. Okay, so that's done. Now, apparently, again, see what I'm saying? It wants me to claim my taxes now. Why can't I just set it and claim it and then forget it and just leave it like a regular resource would? Okay, a again, why am I having to babysit? literally everything and it here's another thing okay you go to ship management okay you see in fleet you think okay this would be easy right no i literally have to double click and then then it takes you to the, the fleet screen why can i not modify the fleet on the fucking fleet tab again and now it's it's like whoever designed this is a complete moron i'm sorry Whoever designed this is a complete moron. Now, I've got two ships on repair. We'll just finish those up. Okay? So, this is a... a, a I would say it's a reasonable fleet. Okay? It's 20 plus ships. Okay? So, you think, okay, now we can sort out... Uh, um, so, so, no, it's not allowing me to, to move the ships. See? All it will let me do is a point... Um... All it will let me do is a point. What's the flagship? It will not let me move any ship anywhere. See? It it just. I'm, I'm trying. I'm I'm left click, right click, move my mouse. You name it. Nothing. I'm not even seeing a button that says move ship. See? It just says that's your flagship. Okay. That's all it will do. See, it will not let me move. So, where, where, where's the tactical element? Where, where, where's the strategic element of this, this this game? There isn't any. There isn't any. This this game is a can absolute piss take. That's what it is. Okay. Let's go back to the expanse. Now, here's another thing. Create operations. This is another big fucking fist in the ass, and I am not exaggerating. If I want to send my ships out to get ore, which is their f***ing job, I might add, that takes up an operation. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, sure, I guess. However, now, and, and this is the big however part. Okay. 
you need operations in order to send out your fleets to attack other ships. Now, these little what this little great circle is an area that I've set because I sent my fleet out to attack earlier. Okay. Now I've got some blueprints and stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now here, here, here's where you're gonna start scratching your head when it comes to this this missile tech stuff. Okay. Ready? Now if I go to my ship blueprints. Okay. There's that's. Now I unlocked locked this ship way early. I got it in like a random loot box. But I have to be tech level seven in order to have it. So it's been sitting there taking the piss pretty much. Doing nothing. I have see, requires dockyard level number one, okay? Let's go to dockyard level number one, okay? Uh yeah, level six. In un in order to unlock a cruiser dockyard. I'm still at level three. Barely unable to get into level four, then level five. So I would quite literally have to spend a good two weeks, real time, to be able to use that ship. Um, am I the only one that is genuinely seeing it as a complete and total piss take? So let's go back, okay? Go back to our blueprints because you know that's what we've got. And here we've got two types of frigate. We've got a destroyer and we've got a light cruiser. We've got a cruiser, okay? Not a light cruiser, it's a cruiser. Now again, this ship has two stat points, which is pointless because as as I said, here you go. Look, I actually put points into warp, and it does nothing. It does nothing. Cruising speed does nothing. Now, let's say I wanted to up the guns, okay? Instead of spending, so you click on the gun, there so you click on the gun, module adjustment. This is where all these little blueprints came in that I was showing you. Oh, excuse me. Oh. So I've got a 20% a, 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 a chance, as is, which you can't click on. I've got a 20% chance to increase my, my attack by a certain percentage, okay? And what ups that is by adding these. Now it's a 30%, okay? Now it's a 32% chance. So I've got roughly a 68% chance that this is going to fail. Not succeed, fail. And when it does fail, it passively increases your chance to succeed by one, one or two percent. Okay, so I'll do this, watch it fail. Oh, success rate increased by 5% on your next try. So now I'm at 25%, okay? So that's 35, 36, 37%, okay? Let's see, gonna fail. Ooh, it was successful. It went up by 4%, okay? But the thing is, are you gonna hit the target? No, not until you've actually increased your accuracy your ships have a base accuracy of 3%. Fucking Imperial Stormtroopers have a better ac base accuracy than 3%. Red Shirts from Star Trek have a better chance of hitting a fucking ship. This is li If you were to watch the actual ship-to-ship -ship combat, I'm not even joking. It is literally like... Are you purposely trying to shoot anything but the ships that are shooting back at you? Because that's genuinely what it feels like. And I'm, I'm not even joking. It genuinely feels like that. So... I could uh, that base hit rate to twelve percent. Okay, cool. UPKA. So they've both got a base twelve percent chance now to hit. Okay, cool. They're still useless. Okay. Now again, let's because this is a missile. Uh, 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 no, that's the, the cannons. Where's the missiles? You're supposed to be a missile frigate. Where's the missiles? Okay, here's your missiles. What's this? 
Uh, concentrate fire periodically. What is with the fucking concentrate fire? Increase damage passively, increase damage passively, cooldowns, cooldowns. Uh, reduce the chance of missiles being intercepted by 6%. We'll take that. What's this? Uh, increase hit rate against aircraft, corvettes. We'll take those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Take that. Take that. What's that? Increase damage by 2%. We'll take that. What's that one? Torpedo damage. We'll take that. We've got two points left. Uh, I'll do the reduce on that. And yeah, there's no chance. There's no way you're going to get. Um, and we'll do that. There we go. Now, if I want to up said missile systems. Okay. I've got plenty of fucking that's twenty percent. That ups it to forty five percent. That ups it to sixty percent. Gonna fail. It always fails. You see what I'm saying? Foul again. Foul again. Foul again. Foul again. Now you're literally watching me real time. Oh wow. It succeeded once out of how many fouls? Foul. That was a 50%. And it, fa it failed at 50%. 60. Are, are you starting to understand the bullshittery of this game now? I'm sorry, but whoever fucking designed this game needs to have their fucking heads kicked in. And I mean that. Because it's like they purposely designed the game to be fucking bullshit and there you go whole bunch of EXP chips that don't do anything that aren't going to level up the weapon or do any kind of stuff like that so enhance um, increase tech points not going to work increase weapon adjustments now as you can see I've tried increasing this multiple times but I've got no chips to so let's see enhanced systems see this one's had a propulsion increase again it's still got look what it is focus fire it's the only fucking skill that they have it's ridiculous absolutely fucking ridiculous this is this isn't a strategy game this is an absolute fucking waste of time that's what it is okay yes I know. Technical route. Alright, what have we got? So I've got seven ships in this this lineup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? One in this lineup, which is the, the big cruiser that I unlocked. And then one in this lineup. Which is nowhere to be seen. Oh, it's right there. Missile frigate. Okay. Um, again, I have no idea what that technical route is supposed to make you do other than just laugh. Alright, so let's have a look at our fleet. It's telling me my fleet's moored, which means that 
they should be here under ship management, but they're not. But they've still got to fart around and do all this. Alright, so all my ships are here. One, two, three, blah, 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 blah. Um, no, no repairs needed. Ship rest. So we've got three, uh, four heavy logistics destroyers, one assault frigate, uh, four missile frigates, uh, one recon, uh, two, uh, uh, one uh, rapid torpedo frigate, uh, two stealth frigates, three multi rolls, one armoured, and three recon. Once that our last armoured's gone, I'm not going to re be replacing them. The armoured frigates are supposed to be tanks, they're not tanks at all, they're a joke. Again, why why are you making me claim just one? Why why can't I just like have a check mark right here, auto claim, so it doesn't fucking bother me anymore? No, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? That would be too easy. All right, so let's let us let us let us show you the the simplicity of the, the of the stupidity and the simplicity of the combat in the system. See, notice how I haven't how I'm having to keep scrolling in and out to get the unity assets to spawn and that's what they are they are unity assets okay so go attack confirm send my fleet advantage confirm now why am i having to go up and down and around the houses yet when my ships return they just come through the fastest route which is from here to here why can't my ships just go from here to here again why? Because the game wants you to wait. It goes seven minutes to get into combat for another 20 minutes because even though it should be over in a matter of fucking minute, literally it should be over before it takes longer to get there. I've got that many ships and my opponents that don't. Now, this uh, uh, flotilla here, okay, says it's level six. It's actually not. It's level 70 something. Okay, that's another lie about this game. Is the UI lies to you? They haven't met. This game has not seen an update since I installed it. Okay, it hasn't. There's been no updates whatsoever since I installed it. Um, and like I said, you can tell that there's modified clients out there. Um, I even googled it, and I even found a web page that lists a whole bunch of cheat codes that you can even type in. The devs were so stupid that they didn't remove the ability for players to access dev commands. So you've got players out there that are using dev commands, I might add, and are in other words cheating. And there's no way to report them. None. Again, like I said, I'm, I'm, it, it takes so long to do stuff. You might as well just. You can tell that this game is specifically designed to be a, um, a mobile port, and that they've said, "Oh, sod it, let's try and tap into the PC market." No. No. There's no anti-cheat. I'm not even joking. I could probably run Cheat Engine right now and modify the game client and walk away laughing while you guys are crying. And you actually think I'm joking. I'm not. Modifying game clients on a game like this, that yeah, it connects to the server that has initially some things, but there are some things that are client based, okay? Because there's no way a server is going to want you to download two gigs worth of data. So clearly there's data here that can be modified, uh, tweaked and whatnot. Because I've seen it. I have seen it. I've seen someone send just a single frigate and knock out an entire flotilla of, of 60 plus ships in the space of minutes. And I mean minutes. Okay, now you're going to see my ships, which are right here. It's still going to take three and a half minutes to go this little short-ass distance. Which makes no sense. 
again other than the fact that the game wants you to wait and it's another thing this will not fuck off okay it's literally telling you buy our shit 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 we can't buy your shit moron your servers are broken so that will never fuck off that orange little dot at the top will never fuck off get used to it so if you want to play a game that you can just have up in the background taking up time and fucking you about you know then then this this is the perfect game for you if you want a game you know if you want a game to, to, that, that you thought would be the next Starcraft or the next Command and Conquer or the next uh, uh, um, not Civ 3 um, so a uh, Windsor Solar uh, the Solar, Solar Empire etc etc don't even remotely look at this game don't just don't um, this game was actually recommended to me by Steam thanks Steam for the fucking waste seriously there are so many players there are some people that have named their bases I don't care I'm, I'm not even kidding you. There's a guy right here. There you go. He named his base. I don't care. Seriously. This this game is a joke. And not even a funny one. I, I, I'm at the point where I'm just like... Why, why bother? There you go. See now. I had to cancel that because it was coming up as two separate missions when it should have been. It should have been one mission. So now I've had to cancel that. My ships have to come back. They, they won't stop mid-flight. They have to return back to my base. So that's another 10 minutes wasted. Instead of going, hang about. Let's wait here and get further orders. And then there's times when after your ship has gone to a zone, attacked, done its thing, it's just sitting there like, what do we do, John? I don't know, Pete. Wait for orders? Yeah, wait for orders. And you're like, what the fuck? There's no, there's no consistency. Like, when the ships return or when the ships don't return. There is no fucking consistency. And, and it's just, you can tell that this game is definitely designed to, to milk its player base for nickels and dimes um, and like I said it would not surprise me if I did a little bit more deep diving into this code and found out that there's some sort of like ethereum mining or bit mining or some bullshit mining going on because if I, if I pull up my task manager right now and look at my performance and then go uh, I'll pull it up and then go to GPU okay Granted, my GPU is not doing shit, but the memory is definitely being consistent at three gigs. Now, it could be the fact that I'm, I've got several applications open, um, or not. I don't know, but the actual 3D rendering isn't anywhere. Like it's like 14% utilization at max right now. Okay, so now I've had I forced that my ships to return. I've now got to send them back out. Okay, now of course then you've got to scroll in closer. Now, are you going to go attack? Oh, you're going to go attack now. Now again, it's going to be another 10, 15 minutes of my life wasted. There you go, six minutes. TLDR guys don't fucking download this game don't even play this game don't don't just don't don't even put it on your phone all right until next time i've been deceptive